here are the two that I want you to try on your own. Um, I didn't put any on there where I just you just have the points and you have to draw the line because you know that's just an extra step. I mean, I could have done these without drawing the lines for you. You could have just drawn the lines yourself. Um, but I just put these on here kind of for simplicity's sake. So what I want you to do is take these two different lines, the red one and the purple one. Uh, I want you to find the slopes of each. Make sure you identify whether they're negative or positive. Pause the video, try it, and then come back and kind of see how you did. All right, let's look at the red one first. Okay, the points are really close together here, but understand that you can use anywhere on this where it actually makes a point. Okay, and I will show you that in a second here. Let's just start with the easy ones here. We got this. Okay, so I know it's positive because it's going in this direction. So it looks like my up would be one, two, and my over would be one. So two over one. And if I were to see this in an equation, it would be simplified down just to 2. You have to understand that when you see this 2 in the spot where the slope goes, like y equals 2x, uh, this would be 2x minus 3. Don't worry about that yet. If you just see this, you have to understand that it's this because you have to have an amount up and amount over, or you would just have a straight up and down line. Um, so if you take a look at this, Let's say I didn't want to use that point, but I knew that this point is also on the line. So let's try this if I start here. Um, and let's go backwards here. Let's go, let's go down to start with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So my guess is that it's going to be 5 over because it should be the same thing because it should equal a slope of 2. Because if it's on this line, this is a slope of 2. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, bingo, 5. Okay, 10 fifths is 2. So it doesn't matter what point you use on this line, you're going to get the same thing. So that's not a big deal at all. So our answer for the first one is a slope of positive 2. So now if we go to the purple one. Okay, here was my first point in the purple, and it really doesn't matter. I could have started up here, start here but I know this is going to be a negative slope because it's going from bottom right to top left and that's something you need to be able to identify right away no matter what. This is the positive bottom left top right this is the negative bottom right top left. So if I do this I need an amount up or down and an amount side to side. So let's just start with the amount up and down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and then I need the amount right. So we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So the 6 was the up and the 12 was the over and it's a negative slope. Now I can look at this and easily tell but if you can't we can divide both of them by 6. Still a negative slope. Negative 6, oops sorry. 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So negative 1 half. So we know the line's going this way. So essentially what we're saying is that every time we go up 1, we're going left 2. Or every time we go down 1, we're going right 2. So, I mean, it's just a pattern here. Up 1, right 2. 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 This is why it's so important to use a ruler. I mean, me having this actually is really good because I can go through and make sure my line is straight. If you don't have a ruler and your line is looking something like this, it's going to be pretty hard to tell what the pattern is. So make sure you've got a nice and straight line for when we work these slope problems. And again, if I was going to put this into an equation, remember the slope goes y equals, it goes right before the x. So that would be negative one-half x plus whatever the y-intercept is and it happens to be in between a couple of things here so it doesn't matter about the last part yet but just remember that the slope goes right here and we'll talk about that more later